A chilly morning and overnight temperatures are expected to stay in the 30s this week, and it's a very vulnerable time for the homeless population. KCRA 3's Maricela de la Cruz spoke to local leaders about what they're seeing. As temperatures remain in the low digits. It does. It stays real cold. It does. I got, I got a sweater on and I got a shirt on. I got a jacket on so, and a hat. I usually don't wear this hat. But. The unhoused population is seeking overnight shelter. Just to stay warm, not to get pneumonia and anything. At unseen numbers. And we've had higher utilization here than we've ever had before. Um, we had 58 people last night. Um, so we're, we're sheltering almost 400 people a night right now, which is by far the most we've ever had during a weather activation. Lisa Altruck is finding options to stay warm during the day. Yeah, the library, the librarian, um, just getting on the light real early in the morning and just keep it warm. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna continue to do. <laughs> and at night, waits for the warming center on 28th Street in downtown Sacramento to open its doors. They're really nice in there. They got boot in there and they got water in there. They get blankets in there and everything. So, so it, it's good. It's one of two locations that was activated three weeks ago. The fact that there is more people unsheltered out on the street definitely means that there are more people that need these services. Um, and I think the duration of this cold weather event also plays a part. You know, we're seeing, you know, seven, eight, nine days in a row where the temperatures overnight are really low. Since 2020, the Sacramento County Coroner's Office has reported 14 hypothermia related deaths among unhoused residents. So the effort to protect the most vulnerable expands beyond the county. So it's pivotal. They not only have a warming center, but they have warm, dry clothing or blankets or sleeping bags like we talked about and tarps so they don't get wet. Once they're wet, they're cold all night. So yeah, there's certainly an increase in sickness right now. Union Gospel Mission is working on expanding their services, which include overnight shelter for women. In the meantime, they serve meals and offer another option for those staying in their tents. If your sleeping bag or your blanket gets wet, it doesn't do you much good. So a little cheap tarp over top. So we hand out just hundreds of those every winter. The warming centers in Sacramento County opened up about three weeks ago and they will stay that way as needed, sheltering nearly 400 individuals a night. In Sacramento, Maricela de la Cruz, KCR 3 News. Sacramento County officials say that staying uh, that staying open costs about $20,000 per night, but they say it's worth it since the shelters are being used.